It may only seem like yesterday that you're dropping us off on our very first day of primary school, and yet here you are, six years later, with the challenge of finding the right secondary school for your child. Thousands of children across Tower Hamlets make this transition every year, and it's up to you, as a parent or carer, to know as much about the secondary transfer process as possible. The more informed that you are, the easier and more positive the experience will be for both you and your child. In early September, when your child is in Year 6, you'll receive a secondary transfer booklet from your child's primary school. This is when the transfer process really begins. The book was the starting point of the transition. When the brochures came through, it was very exciting. We discussed about the schools and how far they were and things like that. And it was a very important time. I just read it. Once I was finished, I was like, OK, this is going to help me. I'm going to follow what it says and I'll be prepared for <laughs> Year 7. Me and my dad just looked through the schools and how many spaces there are and the location. It gave you lots of um, information about different schools, the addresses, telephone numbers, other contact centres that you might need to refer to, especially if your child is of SEN, you know, they gave you numbers that you could ring and get some advice. So, um, yeah, very, very important. You can't really get the correct feel for the school unless you go and see it. So I think a vital part of choosing which secondary school you go to is definitely the open days. When you go into the school, you have to ask a lot of questions as a parent. Then you know what's going on in the school. You can have a taster of what it's like and um, you hear from the students themselves on their experiences about it. I think it's really important to take advantage of the open days at the school to go around. Not necessarily listen to other people's opinions of the schools because we found each school had its own distinct feel. Each school was so different. It's really interesting to go around and have a look at them. I went to three secondary schools to see how it is and I enjoyed all of them, so I put them in my choices. We did get to go like look into the classes and see what they were doing, for example, artwork or literacy, so that's good. Uh, I think often what happens is we have a heart set on a specific school and we think that's the best school and we assume that is the best school and we don't look at any other schools or just, just go by league tables or what other people have said. I'd, I'd say, do you know what, we, sh we should actually take other schools into consideration and actually visit them, give them a chance because, you know, we, we make too many assumptions about which school is the best and stuff, so definitely visit other schools. It was very important for my son also to go and visit, to feel it, to experience what it's like inside those schools that we've chose. He said that, Mum, you know, the way they showed us the schools, it was really, really good because I feel like comfortable. And as a parent, that is very important to get that kind of feedback from your child. Definitely, definitely take your child with you. At the end of the day, it's your child that's going to be attending that school, you know, for six hours a day, five days a week. Some schools that you don't think would be nice are actually really nice because they have lots of nice facilities and the building's new and the people are really kind there. It's kind of like an advertisement. Yeah. They're like, they're going to show off their best features. And sometimes you're really going to like those and sometimes you're not. But you have to make sure that you choose the one that you do like. Otherwise, you're not going to be happy on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. First of all, I want him to be happy at that school, for him to have a lot of support and, you know, for him to feel safe. I want him to work hard and to just be successful. She has to enjoy the school and be happy. If he's happy, he can learn. <laughs> when applying for schools, make sure you check the admissions criteria for each school. There's no point applying to a school which your child isn't going to be able to get into. It's best to be realistic. Choose the schools that are within your borough. Inform yourself, empower yourself with as much information as you possibly can. And ask for help. If you're not sure, ask for help. Make sure the school caters well for your child, for the subjects they're interested in. Don't rush into it. And if you go to see the school once and you're not sure, go back again. Don't just listen to 
what other parents say, because what might be a good school for one child isn't necessarily going to be a good school for your child. I chose my school because it was really good for the subjects I like, and they are maths and music. We thought about the journey, me and my mum and dad, and we wanted something quality and that was quite good and had a good curriculum, but we also wanted something that was close to home. If it was near my house and how long it would take for me to get there, that was a really important thing. Of course, the results of the school was also um, a priority, you know, that the school was doing well itself. All schools in like Tower Hamlets have got an Ofsted and I just wanted to look at this one to see what they do and how good of a school it is. We weren't actually that bothered about it being outstanding, it just had to be good because I think parents should get involved in the school. Apart from the booklet, you can go online, visit different websites, different links and um, gain some information that way. Other than that, you can always ask your, your teachers at the primary school where your child's attending. So there's lots and lots of um, different places you can go and get some advice and help on how to fill out your applications. If you have a child with a special education need, you need to um, speak to your school, the Senko team and they will advise you what to do and help you to make the right choice. So it's always a good idea to actually speak to your SEN coordinator at your own primary school and then at the secondary school, most schools have their own coordinators there. They give a um, form and we only have three choices, so you just have to choose your favourite three schools and then just um, write it down and just give it to the school. You can apply on paper, but why would you want to when you can go to e-admissions with your email address and apply online there? All we had to do was set up an account, which then would give you a login name, and then you just put your three, four, five, six choices down, and that was it, it was that simple. Applying online just means that you can alter your choices right until the last moment and it just feels a lot more secure just sending it off rather than sending the paper application through the post. The plus point also is I was able to know whether my daughter had got into her secondary faster than I would have through post. I would definitely recommend applying online. I knew the school that I was going to put as my first choice, but I was trying to think of schools that I was going to put as my second choice and my third choice, because what if I don't get the school that I put in my first choice? When I was completing the form, we completed all six schools, sitting down and choosing preference one to six. The more school you put down, the better it is. Choosing one school doesn't increase your chances of admission for that school. So be realistic, choose your six schools, choose them carefully, do your research and visit, visit the schools. And I'm sure you'll come up with, with six schools in order. To help you remember, here are all of those important dates again. In early September, you'll receive the secondary transfer booklet and you'll be able to apply online. In mid-September, the school will give you the paper application. You'll now be free to visit all the schools until mid-October, so try and go to as many as you can. The end of October is the closing date for receiving applications, so make sure you don't leave it too late. Finally, in early March, you'll get a letter or email from Pupil Admissions informing you of the secondary school place your child has been offered. So when I received the letter, my dad actually tricked me. He said that I'm not going to that school. But then when he actually told me the uh, what school I'm going to, I was really actually excited and happy. When it came and I opened it, I was really, really, really so happy. I was jumping around and then I was really excited for the school I got. It was like a, like it was a sense of relief. I felt so smart, I don't know why. And overall, I was really excited just to start like a new chapter of my, my life, I guess. I'm actually looking forward to meeting new friends and like, meeting new people. There's more variety of subjects and you can learn new things there. I look for yeah, science, experiments. science, chemistry. Science. We have a football pitch on top of the roof. Uh, that would be exciting. I'm looking forward to my friends and just being independent. In July, 
The council organises a transition day for the whole borough, year six children, to go to their new school. We went to the different types of labs, the different types of workshops. They just showed us where everything was and um, we got to meet all the types of teachers. We did like food tech and made partners with people who didn't, we didn't know and that's how we like bonded like as friends. It's really exciting because it's pretty much also about independence. I felt like this school was the place for me. There's summer school before you start in secondary and people can choose to go or choose not to. Even though it's a six weeks holiday, you can still, like you get an advantage to all the other kids who's gonna come in September because you just get a wider view of the school and the way it works. It's really great if you get involved because there were activities you could go to, for so example, horse riding, ice skating, cooking, loads of activities that were really fun. That experience gave me the confidence to try new things. I went to the summer school, which means that I already made some new friends, so I didn't need to worry. You're walking down the um, playground and you're like, oh hi, I remember you from summer school and then you build like that kind of relationship with them and then now they're like really close friends just from that summer school. So the summer holidays are here and the new school term is rapidly approaching. Now is the perfect time to start preparing for the first week of school. Here's what you'll need to do. Practice the route to your school with your parents the first week or so, my mum came with me and that really helped the route like, um, set into my mind. We've done the bus route, the train route, the helicopter route, the aeroplane route, every route. Well, the trains have names on them and my mum and dad told me which way to go and not to take that one but that one and I kind of memorised that. We looked at the TfL website for planning journeys and obviously the apps that children have on their phones of knowing the times of the buses and the trains. But um, yeah, TfL was a great website to, um, to give us all the information we needed on travel and transport. In primary, they just, just go in there and they give you your equipment. But when you come to the secondary, you need to get your pen, your rulers, your pencils and rubbers and those stuff because sometimes the school doesn't have that. I started pestering my mum to get all the stuff that I wanted. Can we get the uniform? Can we get the uniform? And I went to the shops with my mum. We bought my uniform and like all the supplies and things I needed for school. It is a huge leap from primary school to secondary school. It's a big step. It's like a different world for her. My daughter's emotions were a mix of anxiety and excitement when she was um, starting secondary. I kind of wanted her to think, do you know what, I'm going for something new and exciting, not oh, I'm leaving all my old friends behind, you know, I wanted that positive attitude. So if we're very positive about the start and it's a new beginning and we, we, we kind of express that quite often to them, then they will pick it up as well and they'll be very excited to start secondary. When you talk to people who have gone to secondary school, they sort of overreact a little bit about how bad it is. They may just seem very sinister and like scary to go. I had a really anxious feeling at the start. I was like really nervous. And as soon as I walked into the door, everyone was just constantly making sure that we were happy and just ensuring us that even if we're nervous, we're going to get through it and really just be the best we can be. The thing that I worried about was homework. There were rumours everywhere saying that we will get six pieces of homework a day and I was like so scared. You don't need to really worry about the homework because then the simple tasks and sometimes it can be a bit challenging but that's what they're for. They only give you homework on what you understand. It's like a revision over what you've done in the lesson. So even though it's hard work it actually does help you. Yeah. I think the aim is to just get it done as soon as you can so then you can have your own free time. When you're in your six, you're the oldest, so you're like the coolest guys, you're the oldest year. But when you go to secondary school, you're now like back to nursery again. To be honest, before I came to the school, um, I thought I'd get bullied a lot. But when I first came to the school, everyone was like really nice. They just minded their own business and that if you need help, they'll tell you. 
What worried me the most about secondary school was friends. I was worried at first because I thought we're not going to make friends. When I came here, all my worries went because I made new friends and now I've got like so many of them and I'm quite glad I do. In primary, you didn't move around a lot and here you move around to different classes. I had kind of worries about that. Different teachers for every subject, different books for every subject. I had no idea where the classes were and I was like, um, where's my class and that because I really didn't know where to go. It's worrying but trust me, gradually it is fine. You, you kind of um, adapt to it quite quick. What was really helpful is on the doors I put numbers. So I was like counting the number right, that's not my room, the next one. No, the next one. And there's always at least uh, one or two teachers and there's sometimes prefects that can help you get about if you're stuck somewhere or you're worried about something. In primary school, the, all the equipment's there for you at school, so you don't really need to bring anything other than, I don't know, a reading book or something like that. But here you have to bring everything yourself. A really important thing to do is preparation because you need to be organised and you need to prepare everything for the next day, every day. You have to look at your plan and you have to see what lessons you have on them days because if you don't bring, say for example, if you forget to bring your calculator and you have double maths, it's going to be a little bit confusing. The school, they have a very brilliant communication system. The planner is an amazing way to communicate with the form teacher. If your child is going to miss school for any reason, then the planner is where you must record it. The planner is also a great way for children to keep on top of their homework. They'll be expected to fill in their homework diaries every day and as a parent you must check and sign this once a week to make sure that all their homework has been completed. By reading the planner, you'll also gain a better understanding of your child's school life. Use this extra knowledge to chat with them about their homework. It's really important that you show an interest in their lessons every day. We may not seem like we want to talk about it, but it's always nice to know that our parents care about what we do. The thing that's great about secondary school is all the opportunities that we have. You feel more like you can do your own thing. You get to expand your imagination and you get to expand the things that you do. We have like lots of different after-school curricular clubs. We have one like every single day. We've got cheerleading, basketball, cricket, netball. Or you could play hockey. And also there are some that help you with your homework. You can learn languages like Spanish or French. I go to STEM club, which is science, technology, engineering and maths. I used to do dance and it was a really great way for like finding new friends who are interested in stuff that I was. There's just so many clubs to choose from, it's impossible to be bored. Today we're going to have rounders, which I've never done before, but I'm going to try out. It's sometimes scary, you know, doing new things, but you need to challenge yourself. In secondary, I think I've had quite a lot of challenges and that's helped me build my confidence. To all the year six students out there who's really worried about secondary school, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. You're going to find new friends and you're going to find new interests and it's just going to be a really good five years for you. I've got a really good quote. It says, uh, be yourself because everybody else is taken. That's who you need to be. You need to be who you are. Even though secondary can be very different, it's very easy and quick to adapt. Everything will just fall into place nicely and you'll like find new interests, you'll find new friends and everything will go well. Secondary is just a new experience. You just um, change as a person and it's really lovely. Literally the first day you feel like comfortable and settled in because everyone's so nice and there's no worries about anything really. It's going to be a good journey. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say.